Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morgan, and bid you all welcome back to Elex. As we found out last time, we cannot really encroach on this converter without alerting these two Alb soldiers who, for some reason, have remained behind. Or so it seemed to be the case. Maybe it's possible to sneak in there, but even if that doesn't work out and we are forced into that cutscene, which is... It's pretty aggravating that the cutscene is unavoidable and therefore the encounter is unavoidable. I understand they want some, you know, epic cinematic kind of crap, but they aren't good at it. And it does infringe on the roleplay aspect uh, because I would personally try and find a sneaky way in there and would not just waltz up to these assholes with an open door that I could easily sneak through. But that's just the way they want it done. But either way, I'm going to try and make a dash in there to that lift. Hopefully avoid these guys and avoid too much trouble. And obviously, once we get up, we have to fight that rot boar. But I want to see if we can pull off something a bit against the grain here. Yeah, so there's no avoiding that. And apparently the cutscenes are unskippable. I'm not really sure what Jax is supposed to be thinking here, but that's the second time he's miserably failed to sneak up on something. And, uh, got his ass kicked as a result. So we will ignore these assholes. Ignore the rot boars that are alive down here. But there is, unfortunately, one that's... Wow, that was a hell of a thing. You bitch. Oh, fuck me. I can't do anything. Aha! I cheated. This is bullshit. I'm getting there, though. Please don't! That is so annoying. Okay, good. I can, in fact, skip it. I think they force you to watch it at least once, but I think they did patch it so you can skip it. Get up there! I guess I can skip him, too, if I really wanted to. But I don't have to. Oh, you're kidding me. There's things to kill here. Now, what on earth is that? Obviously, some kind of... Human husk. It was very mutated. I don't know if they're experimenting on something here, but I thought this was just a means to extract Elex from uh, human beings and not to try and experiment on them with it. I should have saved. Well, we've eluded the Alb soldiers for now. Still Rapors. <laughs> Bitch! And down he goes. Nice to see that they could not be bothered to add any collision to the... Uh, the lift there, with ragdoll physics at least. Okay, we're finding Elixir some ammo, but not much that can help us right now. But we are getting getting through here. I assume these me machine parts we're looking for is the stuff that Jorah wants. What the bloody hell is that? <clears throat> okay, more cutscenes. Oh god, it's a flashback.
Congratulations! Waiting for the enemy to commit their troops before you revealed the fighting Colossi. It left the enemy nowhere to go. You've shattered their attack. It was a logical move, and we must remain vigilant. They won't fall for that again. Nevertheless, the victory is yours. The hybrid must recognize that even the Alexiters speak of you as an equal. I carry out the will of the hybrid. I am what the hybrid makes of me. The Alexiters select you for roles they could only give if the hybrid had agreed. Elix does not allow for emotion, but you should be careful, Commander Jax. There are those who envy your rise in power. They would do anything to have the favor you've won. You honor our people, but there are those who think of themselves. I serve the hybrid. His will is above all. Someone at the Ice Palace planned this. A faulty raider, a targeted shot. Kallax arriving so fast. The question is, who planned for me to fail? Who planned for me to die? That was a pretty dreadful dialogue, I'll just be honest. I don't understand the way the way they talk. They say, oh, uh, <coughs> pardon me. Oh, uh, emotions are... You know, prohibited, and Elex removes all emotions, so it's just cold, cold logic and sort of this hive mind kind of thing going on. And yet, not only does the concept of ambition and um, you know favor seem to still exist, but I don't know. It's just the the way they talk about it is kind of like how how does the Alb philosophy work with the removal of emotion and like personal identity none of that seems to really exist to the extent that they say it does and it's elix that's supposed to get rid of that so how the hell are these ay 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 i don't really understand how bugger it all I am glad that they did not decide to overcompensate for Risen 3 and get rid of iframes in the dodge roll entirely. Because their hitboxes are just awful in so many circumstances that not having any kind of iframes would make this really difficult. So there's still one rock war left and something about some Dracon thing. We encountered one of those before, so I don't know if we'll even be able to complete this, unfortunately. Uh, because that thing was quite an opponent before. I hear you. I think he's upstairs. There's some dead ones. Now, in reality, I don't really understand how the uh, elves... Just kind of, like, let us run up here without trying to follow us. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're clever enough to use a... Oh! Seculock. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I know that zero... Now hang on. Does that indicate that these are not available, or that they are part of the code? So if they're worn out, that would say to me that um, they've been used a lot. I don't know what the hell I'm doing there, so... I might actually have to read up on the minigame, because I have no idea how that works. Well, well, let us ascend. Alright, where's the nasty beastie? There you are. Ok, 
Okay, well that's it for them. This deadly slime dracon is apparently still a threat, so we'll have to keep keep on our toes. Well, well, well. There are a lot of oops, a daisy. I don't like the sound of that. I don't think I did something right. Me. Me. Okay. A lot of crap up here. Clean bot. <laughs> Guess that's some kind of room bot. Uh, room bot. Uh, some kind of Roomba. Okay, we got Elex drinks. Now, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but those are, in fact, supposed to change your um, coldness meter. It's just for some reason it did not have a um, an indication before on whether or not that actually happened. Okay, it doesn't have the um what you call it the uh skull icon so maybe we can kill it this time oh wow it's definitely vulnerable to arrows and that's it haha <laughs> you sorry fool now these are pretty horrifying looking it's reptilian, but it's got a very humanoidish face. With kind of those curled back lips that make me think of the... Um... Those mutants in... Metro 2033. Whichever ones are on the surface that look kind of like rats. But I think that's it for... Hostiles here. Oh, hello. You are not... You look like a cleric. Good day. Just think, if these mutants keep chasing people up here, we'll soon be able to start our own small town. What are you doing up here? Waiting. At some point, those mutants down there will find an easier meal. Then they'll leave, and I can continue my journey. The mutants down there were too much for you? There was a whole horde of them when I arrived. Maybe there aren't as many now. But there are still enough to kill me, so I'll wait a little longer for them to lose interest. Oh, the toughest one was up here. It looked like he was sniffing you out. I don't know how he didn't find you sooner. So you're just going to wait up here? I'm very patient. How long have you been here? Only a week or so. But if their numbers keep diminishing at the rate they are, I should be able to continue on my way in another week or so. How the hell are you going to run out and keep food up? What happens if you run out of supplies up here? I've been fine so far, but you look better equipped than me. The mutants are dead. Ah, good. Thank you. Then I can be on my way. On your way where? To the search for greater knowledge and a number of technical items that I'm tasked to find by the clerics. Who says I'm gonna let you? Before you go, you need to pay me. Pay? How much? How much Alexa have you got? Only this, but I don't suppose I'm really in a position to argue about paying, am I? Well, thank you again. I will continue on with my task. I don't really care if you like me or not. I need something tangible for all this work I'm doing these days. Why did you come here to the converter? Why does anyone come here? I came here for the Alb technology. You want to build a converter? Oh no, the precise opposite in fact. I need components to help stop the Alps. My observations, and those of others, show that the Alps' power comes from their technology. That and an ability to increase their stamina, pain resistance, strength, emotional resistance, etc. That comes from abusing their bodies with vast amounts of Elix. It is obvious I cannot defeat them. But you obviously have the skills I am lacking. So why don't we work together? We could both benefit from our different skill sets. I could be useful to you when it comes to technical questions. In return, you can help me avoid situations like this in the future. What do you think? Can we team up? 
Team up. All right. So I guess this is the first uh, companion that we find. It's actually funny. He reminds me a lot of... I forget the dude's name. He's in Stalker Call of Pripyat. He's one of the former monolith soldiers. So it's just kind of that flat, like, emotionless delivery to his words. Which is funny, because he's a cleric, not an alb. So I don't know why he's got such a um, drony delivery to his to his uh, words, but I don't know. Yes, you can come with me, if you think you can follow my orders. Yes, I can do that. You will not regret this decision. Together we fight. Together we fall. I'm not planning on falling, and I can't see you doing much fighting. Where should we meet if we become separated? There's an abandoned camp in the ruins wow. to the west of Goliad. We can meet there. Understood. Meet at the abandoned camp. Alright, cool. So we got our first companion. He's a hell of a lot easier to get to come with us than Duras is. But, uh, I don't know. He, he acts like he's not a tough fighter, but that looks like a hell of a rifle back there. And, um, I'm thinking he might actually be able to help us with the albs downstairs. What components are you looking for? Yes, I should tell you the full list. I need, we need, a sensor module from the converter. A high-performance CPU of the type the albs use. My research suggests the best place to locate that would be out in the war zone in Abessa. It sounds like you're collecting the pieces for a drone. Maybe. I had thought of that. But we also need Garudium. That's a metal found in the comet crater in Ignodon. A hydraulic joint, the sort found in pre-war machines. I should be able to locate that in the scrap piles near the outlaw forts. A hydraulic joint? Yes. A Type 702, if we can get one. But anything of that sort will be adequate. And I'll also need a miniature Elex battery, the sort the Albs use in their raiders. And that's the full list? Yes, you'd better save it to your Ajutor. Nice to know that you already know that I have one. Tell me more about the materials you need. Certainly. Every component found is another step towards the liberation of Magalan. At least so I've been told. I don't actually know what these components are supposed to do. But the cleric who told me to come here insists it will change the world. Do you want to start by telling me what you're doing? Mm, I guess not, because he didn't answer. About these components you need. Yes. Okay, so the battery I think we got from our crashed ship. But I'm going to hold off on that. I'm, I, I kind of question if that's something we're going to need for something else. If you say so. Tell me about the clerics. We are the technologically superior of all the cultural and sociological subgroupings on Magellan, apart from the Alves. We believe in Cal Urn, who we serve in the hope of knowledge and freedom. Who is Kalan? Cal Urn is our god. What? He is... He is... Well, we have little in the way of real data, but the teachings tell us much. Teachings? Yes, he teaches us about the importance of knowledge. But then knowledge always depends on context to have meaning. For instance, let me ask you, have you ever killed anyone? Uh, well, yeah, of course, but I'm more concerned with the fact that <laughs> we have two different names for the same person, and there seems to <laughs> there seems to be no question that we're talking about the same thing. Yes. And that is morally wrong. I should be sad or angry. I should not wish to talk to you. And yet, I don't know why you killed that person. And I know most people out here have to kill to survive. Thinking is easy. Finding reliable data is the difficult part. Questions should come before decisions. You're right. Too many people don't think. Then I have found my role. Mm, if you say so. I mean, what do you expect? This is a tough world, and not everyone, you know, likes to work together. So if if it's down to me or them, it's going to be me. How are you doing, Falk? I am finding both you and our experiences to be challenging. There is still so much to discover. It will be interesting to see what comes next. So he's already got a negative impression. I am unhappy. I find it difficult to understand many of the things you do. I hope that feeling fades. Because if not, I will have to leave you to go my own way. Well, I'm sorry we got off onto a rocky start, but uh, I hope you don't abandon me too soon. Okay, well, he isn't following me just yet. Follow me. 
Okay. All right, come with me. We still got shit to do here, and hopefully, having you around will make it a bit easier. Okay, I guess I can't get in there. Hmm. Why can't I get in here? Okay, he does have a jetpack. Now, I know that Duras will have a jetpack um, <coughs> once he's a uh, follower of ours. So I, I wonder how they justify him getting that. Like, he obviously would not just have it already. But uh, I guess... When the time comes, we'll either sort that mystery out or laugh about it. <gasps> Take that. King Sorrel! My god, they actually did it. Hmm. Can't believe can't believe they added that to the game. Oh wow. A lot of explosives up here. <coughs> I wonder if we get more camps um, later on, because I, I had originally assumed that any area you could teleport to, the uh, your companions would make camp there. But it seems that's not specifically the case. Maybe there's like one camp for every like climate zone. Okay, well, we, we still got more stuff that we need to find down here. What do you know about this converter? It was obviously never put into full operation. The berserkers didn't seem to enjoy having a converter right on their front door. Probably because it was berserkers being thrown into it. But if you ask me, it is just a matter of time until the Alps come back to suck the life out of all the people living in Nidan. They want control of all the Elex on Magalan. Okay, well, we still need... Th 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 that many of those. Now, hang on. It said three machine parts for Corrin and six for Jora. They seem to be the same machine parts. So what happens if we give three to Corrin and this is the control wing of the converter. are there enough to get the rest for Jora? To process metals, plants, soil, people. They obviously did not get far any damn. Oh, maybe the rest are outside or something. Oh, here's one. She's saying three is six for that. What happens if I give three to Corrin? What, you know... I don't know. Could you shut up? Well, noises are driving me nuts here. But... I mean, it's nice that they, like... made sure that he can actually get on the lift with you and everything, but... Okay, how is this done? Like seriously, how 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 do do this? I don't get it. What am I doing here? Oh, one is less than three is greater than two is less than three, four. Was that not right?
Hang on, hang on. I, I want to make sure I don't fuck this up, because I don't know if it, uh, like, permanently locks at some point. One is less than four. It's greater than three. It's less than five. Very close. Seven. Eight. I'm in. Yeah, bitch, I f solved that mystery. I mean, a pretty straightforward mini game there. I don't know if they get more complex than that. Highly sensitive sensor module. Is this the one you need? About these components you need. Yes. Yeah, well, let's just give it to him. Then we are a step closer. The cleric who sent me to do this will be pleased. So you're a cleric. Me? I am a. What's the word? An advocate. So we'll need to take these components back to Ignadon? Perhaps. Or to Tavar. It's all very secret. But I can locate the cleric that sent me. When our mission is complete, I can give you the coordinates. But please remember, this is a secret mission. It was a legate from the Hort that sent me, and he is very knowledgeable. It is my honor and my duty to serve him. Serve him? Serve and assist. It is Cal Urn who we serve, and the Legate is his voice to me. I must follow his instructions. In Cal Urn we trust. Sure, if you say so. Oh, yes. In Cal Urn we trust. All clerics believe in Cal Urn. You must speak to my Legate. I must follow his instructions. He is a cleric Legate from the Hort Monastery. Sure, whatever you say. What a strange man. I'm not really... Like, he he just seems... I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to kind of sort out my thoughts on this fellow later. I have the miniature Elex battery. An example of how Elex has revolutionized technology. We might not have the resources our ancestors did, but look what the clerics have achieved since. This is the work of the clerics? It is Cal Urn's will. Only the clerics believe in science and study. Only the clerics have the capability to fabricate these things. The technology that has been preserved, the technology that has been designed here, Magellan must thank the clerics for all of it. The clerics are not to blame for the elves. You seem pretty certain about that. Cal Urn's will is to help all through technology. So my legate says. So you will learn when you see him. Sounds like Kalan has it all planned out. I just don't understand why they have a different name for him. Yeah, excellent. No, I'm not good enough for that. Not good enough for that. Like, uh, I don't know, this guy's just... I, I don't know what to think of him. And his, he, he seems to firmly believe everything that just one person tells him. Which I guess is just kind of the way religion and philosophy work sometimes. But uh, we still got some albs outside and we're still looking for a couple more machine parts, which are probably downstairs. Uh, since we had to run away from them so quick. This is a dangerous area. Indeed. Okay, well, there's the one that dropped. These torches are not all that useful. Going down. This is how I escaped some of those mutants. I cut through one of the hoses to block the way, which is how all this brackish water was able to <coughs> contaminate the entire level. I see. I'm not really sure how that helped you, considering it's a pretty straightforward way to get in here, nonetheless. Ring of toughness, eh? Now, I had something something on. Oh, no, I don't have the Berserker Ring. But that looks helpful. Now, the biggest problem I have is the fact that we cannot see, like, a character stat kind of thing that tells us how many points in 
like stamina and hit points that we actually have. So these quantities that they're telling me don't really give me a whole lot of actual feedback. So I don't know what it actually means. Like, is 10 extra stamina a lot? How many points do I have to begin with? If I have, if I have 50, that seems like a lot. If I have 100, that doesn't quite seem as much. You know, these are, these are the questions... These are the questions I ask and cannot get an answer to. What was that? Okay, just more of these. Uh, we're probably gonna have to head back up because I did not find all the scrap I wanted or the machine parts. But these albs are surely still out here. Hopefully Falk here can make a difference. Howdy, gentlemen. Initiating combat. Good. Kill him. I'll just keep doing this. Bobbing and weaving. Ow. Yeah, kick their asses. Wow, he smoked him. Done and done. I don't want to be recognized. Yeah. Well, I don't have any loyalty to them, so I guess I don't know no skin off my nose if uh, some of my former comrades bite the dust. And there's still that thing down there. I kind of forgot about that. It looks immobile, but it also can be targeted. And what's the worst that can happen? Over there. Okay, so I guess these things are called ow. Ow, 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 ow. ow. See if he can make a difference. <laughs> I still love that. Just a little... And a lethargic drop. Alright, well... Guess we're gonna have to pull up the quest marker for this one, unfortunately. Um, um... Okay, so that doesn't really help me at all, does it? Or perhaps he actually has the rest of them. Maybe it's worth going back to him with what we found. Hopefully he's not concerned that we suddenly have a cleric in tow. I don't believe that there's any sort of trouble to be had when you bring your comrades into town or in, into contact with other factions which would be nice if they had something but I understand that they can't you know, you know like it would be too much trouble for them to expect everyone to try and disguise their comrades every time they went to a new area so about these converter parts. Why didn't you complete your task? These converters are deadly machines. It doesn't matter if it's deactivated or not. It draws the mutants to the elix that's in there. Every time I think I've cleared a path to search for the parts, more come! I've only just escaped with my life each time. Why can't you get the parts? I am trained in combat, but not technology. Once I'm inside that Leviathan, I can't seem to find the right thing, and time is precious when the mutants are after you. Here, I found these in the converter. The converter parts? You got them! That's exactly what Yor asked me to bring him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe my curse has been broken. Will you take the converter parts to Goliath? I'll rest first. I won't believe this curse lifted until I see it. And I will leave my hands oh, shit. mutants come back. Curses aren't real. You're free. Uh, so 
so I used to say, superstitious raptor shit. But maybe I am free now. Travel safe, and thank you. That was remarkable. Yeah? How are you doing, Falk? It is hard to say right now. Let me think further. You are a very interesting person. You are hiding many secrets. That is plain, even if the secrets aren't. I think traveling with you should prove to be very instructive. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah, I tend to be a bit of an enig enigma, as they say. I don't know if that was worth doing. So, yeah, given Core and the parts did, in fact, cancel our quest with Jorah. But I don't really know what that means. So maybe I shouldn't have done it that way, but you know what? This is an RPG. There are no wrong answers here. Just answers that maybe are not quite as good as the other alternatives. But... Such is life. Are you sure this is a good place for us to be? Why not? We already took care of everything that's gonna get in our way. Just want to see what else is within the walls here. So that, uh, that fighting colossus, as they call it. I don't know why they had to come up with such a creative name for it. I would just call it a mech. Oh shit, he's fighting something. I'm glad you managed to get yourself into trouble. Oh, don't get- oh god. That's a bad one. That a nasty one. Alright, well, if you can take care of it, that'd be fantastic. Maybe I can, uh, give us some of this. He is having a rough... Oh, he's died. Ow. That went well again. Okay, well, he's not dead. And he does get up pretty quick. Ow. You better help me out here, bro. This is some bad business. Please keep him off me. Whoa, what just happened? Ow! You dirty punk. Dang it! Run out of potions here, man. Shit, he dodged. Oh god, oh god. That's fine. St stay on the defensive. Yeah. See, I hate when they hesitate. Really throws me off. I don't think he's getting up this time. He's not getting up. If I can just clip him through the floor. Whoa! Get up, you sorry fool. Oh god. Whatever. Oh, you fucking hyper armor bitch. All right, maybe we shouldn't go this way. Let us just report back, I guess. I guess he's gonna follow us in here. Golia, the Berserker's hometown. It is interesting. My research indicates there were organizations attempting to restore Magellan's plant life before the comet struck, but none were armed like the Berserkers. Indeed, all the current factions came into existence after the comet. Just as the comet caused the creatures to evolve, so it had the same effect on society. 
Fascinating. A curious thing indeed. I don't know why, this is a totally random observation, but I'm noticing how sometimes you walk past and characters' heads follow you as you're moving around. I don't think they've actually done anything like that since the first Gothic. But, uh, I don't know, that's not a big deal. Just a point of curiosity again. Luck only comes to those who help themselves. Oh, hang on, these two are probably familiar with each other. Okay. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that golden age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Fascinating indeed. Do you have any insights on in that regard? No, apparently not. <clears throat> I don't know if there's going to be a uh, Risen 3 kind of like inter-dialogues between your companions and NPCs. I hope to see something like that because that was uh, something I, was, I want to see them expand on. So they started to do it in um, Risen 2, but it was incredibly shallow. It was just like your companion would occasionally quip about something an NPC said. But in Risen 3, they would actually have like a few lines of actual dialogue with each other. So it was pretty cool to see, but I don't know how far they're going to go with that. Uh, where the hell's Jorah? I want to report in with him and see if he is mad at us for helping out the other guy instead of getting all the parts for him. It did cancel it, unfortunately, so I don't know. I mean, even if you fail or cancel a quest, it seems like there is dialogue to be had. Uh, Jora, Jora. There you are. Hey, so did you get the converter parts? Yes, I got them. But I gave them to Corin. Corin's alive? He was trapped by mutants, but I helped him escape. He'll bring the parts to you himself. Good. I honestly thought Karin had been killed, or I'd have sent men to find him. It's good you were able to help him. He's a little eccentric, but he's a good man. Maybe this will help sort him out. We are twice blessed by the Pilgrim this day. Okay, well, that seemed to have been the better move, so I'm glad I did that. I don't know how much that influences our cold meter. Again, I don't see... I don't see how this works. Is this kind of like a dial thing? Which tells me that we're on the cold side of things, because I don't... I'm assuming this whole thing's kind of scrolling to the left as we... as we change. Well, let's pump all this into strength for now. I don't think that gives us a new weapon just yet. We need 60 dexterity for that piece of shit. Hang on, what? Oh, I need 33. That's bogus. I need dexterity for that. That's super bogus. Oh. Alright, well, such is life. Maybe we can get some skills from somebody. Well, she has charisma skills, and I accidentally pumped points into that. You better get rid of that attitude. Teach me something. Of course. Survival skills. Oh, it was cunning, not charisma. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But I don't I can't do none of these things yet, it looks like. Yeah, I'm far off from all of these. To get more intelligence, I can be a haggler. 
But I don't think it's gonna help me. Can we trade? Look around. Um. Okay. Well, I have a rusty axe. It's pretty shit. Titans nuts loosens brain cells. It's kind of cute. Well, that's all you got for weapons, so that really doesn't help me. It's kind of funny that the um, merchant menu is through the adjuter as well. <laughs> and they don't comment on that. Now, there was a fellow... A fellow up above had weapon. Uh, he had some weapons, but I think it was mainly an armor seller. <laughs> you know, maybe we should report in with Duris on what to evidence and testimony we've gotten so far. I don't even understand half of what you're saying. I don't understand half of what I'm doing either. Oh, here's the mana shrine. We should take a look at that, but I think I'm running along on this episode. Once again, I can't see my um, audacity uh track that usually tells me how long the episodes have been running. Now, someone said to play this in Borderless Window to take care of that, but I don't know. I tried that with Risen 3 and it actually kind of... Excuse me. It actually kind of broke it. Uh, I remember the first recording I did for that back when that came out. Um, the contrast got totally fucked up when I was in Borderless Window for some reason. Or maybe just regular windowed, but yeah, it got totally screwed up, and it only showed up in the recording. So I didn't realize how bad it was until I tried to make the video later. Where's the guy with the armor? Oh, he's over here, I think. Stay alert out. Oh no, you're a weapon trader with no name. What goods have you? Understood. <laughs> That's actually kind of embarrassing that they just came up with a generic merchant who's, you know, generic lines can't even match what you, your character is saying. Okay, these are some legit weapons. Whoops. What goods? Understood. Okay, well, ooh, I can get a shield. Still need a lot more stats to use any of these. I'd like something better than this garbage-ass axe. A broadsword kind of isn't that. This hatchet's the next best thing we got, and we need a little more strength. So, maybe we'll hang on to the broadsword. Well, this is a test here. So, yeah, broadsword plus one actually substantially increases its stat requirements. Which is kind of dumb. I feel like that devalues the upgrade as far as I'm concerned. Now, that's what I'm wearing, isn't it? Okay, well, nothing you got really helps me at all. I'm sorry. Unless this is official business, you should move on. Now, what's over here? I don't think I looked over here. There's a, a barn or a stable or something. It was actually funny. I had to talk with somebody on... Uh, he's commenting on how the... He thought that... The placement of the ballistas showed a uh, pretty good attention to detail. But I have to point out that unless somebody's supposed to be sitting in that little chair there, what looks like a chair, um, bringing this to bear seems like it's going to be quite tough. Um, sorry, I kind of, I 
heard a noise that distracted me and I lost my train of thought. But um, when you think about it, something this big, it's mostly going to be used against either large targets or as like a siege weapon. So defending a city with it doesn't seem like it's going to do you a whole lot of good, especially because they don't seem to hold, have a whole lot of ammo on hand to, uh, you know, take a second shot with. So once this thing fires, it's pretty much useless. And um, unless your plan is to basically collapse that bridge on top of them when they get in here. But other than that, I would think that some, uh, smaller weapon, something like a scorpion, which is basically just a small ballista, uh, would have been a better idea because that would have a more anti-infantry um, potential to it. But hey, what do I know? Okay, here's the fellow. I'd like to tr pick your armor, choose your weapon. We can. Tr so for some reason, this guy, even though he's still a uh, just a generic merchant, has more dialogue and even better weapons than the um the actual weapon merchant. Okay, we're actually pretty close to that. That's expensive, though. Armor designed for hunting. So even armor has stat requirements. I don't know if I noticed that before. And he does not object to us buying it. That's 800. If I'm gonna buy that, that's 45 and 12. I don't know what the difference between parrying power and armor is. Does parrying power actually refer to the, you know, pairing with a weapon. Yeah, I think it might. It's only slightly better than this worker armor, but seeing what a difference it made might be worth uh, investing in. So let's do it. To the pit. Take your ass out. to the pit. And there we have it. Eh, slightly cooler looking. Still just a glorified waistcoat or something. But, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I think I'm just going to call the episode here. So I don't know exactly how long it's been, but surely it's been long enough. Uh, thank you all kindly for watching. Uh, for my viewers in the United States, this will probably be the last video I'm able to get up before Thanksgiving. Uh, so, I just wanted to express my thanks for all of those who have been uh, watching these videos and supporting me all this time. It really... Uh, I really do appreciate it, even though this isn't, like, a career or anything like that for me. Uh, this is just a hobby, but having people actually enjoy my videos and watch them and, uh, you know, comment and everything. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of social media stuff and I don't do a lot of forum, uh, you know, forum contributions or anything like that. So it is... Where'd my weapon go? It is really nice that, uh, are you shitting me? How did I, how did I lose my weapon? I must have been an idiot and sold it, assuming that it was locked out because it was equipped. I guess I'm gonna have to go buy that back. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's nice that I kind of have a community here on YouTube since I don't do a lot on, uh, any other social media or anything on the internet so it is you know really kind of heartwarming that you all are here and uh enjoy what i do so it really it really keeps me going and uh hopefully once i'm done with school this can be a more regular thing oh wow look at the physics on that parcel there that's actually more depth to the cloth physics than I thought they would have gone with, but oh well, that's enough getting distracted right now. So, if you aren't following me on Twitch or subscribe to my stream archive channel, 
don't forget to you know check those out as well uh, links in the description below hopefully uh, very soon within a couple weeks I can get some live streams going again as well for some random stuff and uh, have more fun in a live uncut capacity but until then thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time <laughs>